Hey everybody and welcome back. Certainly glad you could join me today. In today's video, we're going to use canvases to create images which we can use to either make fake depth or even animations. Before I get started, a huge thank you to everyone for subscribing and hitting that notification icon. That really helps me out. And of course, a huge thank you to my patrons and members. Your names will have run across the bottom of the screen. If you are interested in supporting the channel, feel free to visit the Patreon in the description below. Keep the channel going and you can, if you want to, just hit the join button next to the subscribe button as well. So let's jump right into this then. As you can see, I've got a scene laid out here with a character in the foreground and then a couple of things in the background. And I want to be able to create a little basic animation maybe some kind of parallax effect, or maybe even just create a more realistic depth of field effect. Now, in my last video, I talked about how using the depth map doesn't allow you to create a realistic... <clears throat> now, in my last video, I talked about how it wasn't really possible to create a realistic depth blur effect using the depth map. And that's because you can only apply one depth of field or one lens blur effect to the image and then just changing the opacity of that blur doesn't create a realistic uh, depth of field effect at all. It actually just makes the image look really weird. And to be honest, I can't understand why everyone keeps doing it. But there you go. That's the way people want to do it. That's the way they want to do it. So what I'm going to do is I'm in camera five. So I'm actually going to go into camera five and I'm going to change the camera parameters. I'm going to change it so that depth of field is off. That way, everything that's in the render will be rendered as seen in the texture shaded virtually. So we're going to come into our render settings now. And what we're going to do is go to our advanced tab and we're going to select canvases and we're going to turn them on. And we're going to create three canvases. The first one is going to be our character and all of the items that are on him. So all of these clothing items here, we're going to select those and then we're gonna come back into our render settings tab and we're gonna create a canvas, a beauty tab. And in that beauty tab, we're going to select alpha. Then we're gonna change nodes and we're gonna go create from selection and we just hit accept there. And we'll call this one character just for simplicity. So now we've got that bit done, we're going to deselect our character like that. And then we're going to select our hut and we're going to make sure that everything else inside that is good, is selected, which is so we're happy with that. So we're going to create a another canvas, another beauty canvas, and we're going to select alpha and we're going to create from selection again. And we're going to call this one our hut like that. And then come back into our scene and we're going to deselect that obviously. And then the last thing we're going to do is select these trees in the background here. And we're going to check that we've got the right ones by turning that on and off. So that's the one we want. Come back into our render settings tab. And we're going to create another canvas, another beauty canvas. We're going to select alpha and we're going to create from selection and we're going to hit accept. That's our basic settings set up now. So we could mess around with the grass as well, but I'm not going to bother leave. I'm going to leave those out of the image for now. And in fact, I'm going to turn the visibility of that grass off so that it doesn't mess with our render. And it makes it look like we may have to turn off more than one let's just go to the top of the group and select that turn all the grass off there we go okay cool so we're now ready to start rendering we're going to hit render and dash studio is going to do its thing now that dash studio has done it's a little bit of work what we need to do is open our images in photoshop so this is what we've got here and as you can see we've got three all of them completely white and there are bits missing obviously when you're doing this yourself you're going to be a little bit more thorough about your selections but so in this one we've got actually nothing so we can just get rid of that one but we've still got our character and our hut and the first thing we need to do is go to image adjustments 
and in exposure we're going to drop the exposure by about 11 maybe 12. that's better so there you go it's a little bit rough because i didn't wait for the uh render to finish completely but there you go we've got that one and then we're going to do the same thing in this one we're going to go to image exposure and we're just going to drop that by 12 stops as well and as you can see had we had the window selected that would be there and the character would be the same so we could actually go Control a Control c and we could do a Control v over the top and then we can just move that into place and what we're actually going to do is we're going to increase the size of this guy a little bit and then when we can move him into place you can see that it's easier to hide the bits and pieces from the background um, and then again you can mess around with these as much as you want you can move them get them into position or you can just undo that and get them to be more or less the right size and what we're actually going to do is i'm going to copy this layer and then i'm going to apply a lens blur effect or a gaussian blur or any kind of blur to it really you can do a, a simple gaussian blur if you want to and then if you hit that you get a little bit of a depth of field effect going on there now you've noticed that there's a bit of a white outline around our character at the moment it's not completely in the correct place and we can just nudge it across using the arrow keys if we want to but it's essentially it's gonna be that way so the best way to get rid of it is to copy our layer place the copy underneath and then we're gonna go to filter blur and we're gonna apply a very very small like three pixel Gaussian blur and as you can see that's significantly reduced the visibility of that by basically hiding that gap so now it's it looks more like a light outline or a, a highlight than it does an actual issue which is great and so of course because we don't have the trees in the background here we could just stick some trees of our own and then essentially we've got a three layer image that we can do whatever we want with we could animate this we can continue to apply effects we could have maybe a, a black and white layer underneath there so we could go to our adjustment layer and we could do a hue and saturation and then just desaturate the background so that the character is colorful or we could just desaturate it a bit so that it looks it, different things that you can do all kinds of different weird and wacky stuff just by using canvases to separate your image out into layers it allows you to apply the effects that are in the camera so if you wanted to you could have your depth of field effect in camera and it would make the life a lot easier to turn this into layers that you can then do whatever you want with now someone mentioned in a previous video about well why don't you just hide the character in one render and then hide the background in another render in this specific situation that we've got here that would work but the reason that we use canvases is because when you render a canvas as separate items they still cast shadows on each other they still cast their reflections and all that sort of thing so if you were to just render a character standing in a room on their own and then render the room on their own there'd be no shadow there'd be no reflections and it would just look really well it would look fake so using canvases allows us to hide those errors anyway thanks very much for watching guys i hope you found that useful let me know what you think in the comments below and i'll see you in the next one take care of yourselves Bye.